They might be in this weird situation where for some reason your particular Android phone is stuck on a Samsung logo. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons, and as always, there's never just like one reason why this may end up happening, but this could be due to, you know, maybe the phone being stuck on an update and the phone kind of going through there. The first thing I'd recommend doing is seeing how long it, you know, has stood on the Samsung logo. If it's been here for hours, then I would probably recommend moving on from this and, you know, following the instructions. If it's only been a couple of minutes, I would recommend just waiting. Sometimes updates can just make your phone appear that they're stuck on the Samsung logo, when in reality, they're actually just booting up and sometimes it can look like they're broken. So the very first thing I'd recommend doing is holding down on your power button of your particular Android device. So what this would look like is if your phone is stuck here, you can hold down your particular power button or your side button until your phone completely shuts off. This is by far the one of the easiest ways to go and fix this problem. So hold down this button here and wait until your phone completely shuts off. And then you want to wait until your phone is completely powered off. So if it's completely powered off, you want to give it 30 seconds. So give it about 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute, and hold down the power button once again on your particular Android phone and wait until it boots up again. So what usually happens here is that your phone will usually boot back up. It'll go back into like the Samsung logo that would appear here. And then sooner than later, it will boot back into its normal display and you'll be able to use it as you normally would. Now, if that doesn't work, you may want to go ahead and get into safety mode or recovery mode on your particular Android phone. If you recently flashed a ROM on it and it's not working or something like that, the other method you have is basically re restarting this phone and resetting it. And to do that, you're going to have to basically type in on Google how to you know, put your particular phone that you have into recovery mode and then basically going through and you know resetting it from there. So you may want to just type in the model of your phone if it's a Galaxy S24, type in Samsung Galaxy S24 you know, recovery mode. Go ahead and follow the instructions on recovering your phone and seeing if it you know, works from there. You may have to factory reset it, but that, those are basically the main ways to go and fix the problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.